Everything here has been chewed up. I have a bad feeling about this, Moray. if it meant any harm, Moray. Whatever it was, it seemed as scared of us as we were of it. What scares me most is the damage it's causing to the sea life around here. We'd better follow it. is deadly. Let's see how far it extends. is starting to make sense. I'd better pay a visit to the mayor here on the double. I wish I was a land walker like you so I could go too. Just wish me luck. Yeah, I'm afraid you're gonna need it. five clamps. Here, keep the change. Why do I get all the kooks? I'm sorry, Moray, but our fair city has been pouring its waste into the ocean for years now. To stop that, we would have to build purification facilities costing millions of dollars. I assure you, Mr. Mayor, the cost to the world will be much greater than that if the seas die. All your chemicals and pollutants have created a mutation out there, a kelp-eating monster. And once the kelp is gone, every other living thing in the ocean will follow. 
Moray, you're asking me to spend millions on the basis of a wild fish story? I'm afraid the answer is no. Then I'll bring you proof that you're wrong. What kind of proof? Mr. Mayor, I'm going to bring you a real live sea monster. Well, Whiskers, according to the tide, it's nearly 2 o'clock. I hope Moray's having... Moray! So how did it go? Don't ask. Oh, I was afraid of that. Now what do we do? We try to make friends with that sea creature and bring him back here. Maybe when the people of this city get a first-hand look at what they've created, they'll realize they have to stop polluting. It's a good idea. I only hope our sea monster likes it. We'll soon find out. I'm nervous enough. I don't need any critics. We are your friends. Trust us. We won't harm you. Mori? Oh. Moray! Quick, Whiskers! Help me get her to the surface! Oh! That was quite a knock. You okay? Sure. You ought to know by now that I have a hard head. Where did the creature go? As far away from us as he could get. Let's see if we can pick up his trail. Mr. Mayor, there's trouble at the harbor. It's incredible. Calm down, Simpson. Now, what are you talking about? A sea monster is trapped in the harbor and can't get out. A sea monster? Holy cow, we're gonna need a whole army. You'd better get him here fast. That ship's full of gasoline. One spark and this whole harbor's gonna blow sky high. Can't miss the big guy's trail. Looks like he's headed toward the city. Tune again. Whiskers, bring me some kelp. It's Manti Moray. What are they doing? We're trying to stop you all from making a tragic mistake. Leave this animal alone. He's only frightened. He won't cause you any more trouble. Good work, Whiskers. Here you are. Come on. We'll lead you out of this harbor to deep water. It's no use, Moray. I admit you are right about our pollution. But this creature is much too dangerous to let it escape. Now move aside. I think we're going to need reinforcements. <laughs> Great one. So what do you say? Are we friends? I understand. And I'm sorry. But you aren't alone. You have all of us for friends. <laughs> now go. I'll follow. Warren, 
What was that all about? The creature said that it feels weak. It knows its life will soon be over, but it will die knowing that others cared for it. Maury, I apologize for not having more faith in you. Mr. Mayor, your apology is accepted. Shemson, arrange an emergency meeting of the city council. We have to put a stop to this pollution immediately. I think today we used up the last of our... <laughs> safe now, little Whiskers. Calm down. Now what's wrong, Whiskers? <laughs> Show us the way, little friend. Remove it carefully. Is it a dud? There's one way to find out. How's your harpooning arm? Great, as long as the target isn't a whale. Okay, get ready. She just needs rest. We have to find those ships. Guppy, where are the whale ships? <laughs> rest here, Guppy. We'll stop them. She wants to come, Manta. I can see that. Very well, then. We shall all go. And this is Moray. Who's in charge of these ships? I am. What is it you want? You must stop slaughtering the whales. Captain, the whales you hunt are greys. They are protected by international law. There is no law out here, my friends. Now, out of my way. We have our work to do. 
But, Captain, if we continue to kill everything around us, there won't be anything left for the future. And all of mankind will suffer as a result. I am a man of the sea, and hunting whales is what I do. Then as a man of the sea, Captain, you must understand that the oceans and their creatures must live so that we may live. We'll not move until you turn these ships around. Oh, very well. Come aboard and we will talk. Morley, look out! I'm sorry, but I do this for your own safety. Raise her. You win this one, Captain. Stay, Whiskers. Help Moray. Guppy and I will hide the whales. Go now. Come, Guppy. We have work to do. Lock her in the aft cabin. Whiskers! You couldn't have dropped in at a better time. Any sign of them? No, sir. It's like they just vanished into thin air. I think that seaman has something to do with those whales disappearing. Maybe the girl can tell us where they are. Come on, Whiskers. You can do it. Go for it. That a boy? I am hurrying, Whiskers. Someone's coming. Let's go. She's gone. has taken the whales. to that iron. Ten miles, Captain. But it is surrounded by reefs and in these seas. I know what I'm doing, Mr. Kiobe. Just set a course for that iron. Yes, sir. Moray should have been here by now. You're all right? Yes, thanks to Whiskers. He rescued me just in time. Right, Whiskers? What of the whaling ships? We lost them. The whales will be safe here. The sea grows angry. Those ships will have trouble. Captain, the charts indicate we are less than 50 yards from the reef. Don't you think? We're going to find those whales, and I don't care how close we have to come to those reefs. Yes, sir, but the wind... Manta, the whaling ships are on the reef. Come on. The waves are too big to launch the lifeboats. I know, I know. Give me time to think. Captain, can you hear me? What do you want? Give us some strong rope, and we'll pull you off the reef. Pull us off? But that's impossible. Not if you have the right friends.
is incredible. We're grateful to you, Manta and Moray, and to your fair friends for saving us. They're your friends too, Captain, as long as you don't hunt them. Farewell, my friends. I hope we meet again. What did she say? I think she wants to know if you need a push. <laughs> 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 you win! I promise I won't tickle you when you're asleep anymore. <laughs> How's our new recruit? Other than being homesick, sir, he's doing just fine. In fact, he seems used to having people around. Here you go, fella. And there's plenty more where that came from. As soon as you learn the ropes around here. Puppy's picked up Whiskers' scent. Now we're getting somewhere. what it is, but Whiskers is somewhere inside. Nice work, Guppy. Now wait here while we take a closer look. Two bogeys approaching. Looks like divers. Where the devil did they come from? Too fast to be friendly. I've never seen such speed. They're outrunning us. And without scuba gear. Fire the nets.
gas won't keep her dizzy for long. Let's get out of here. Who are you two? I am Manta. She is Moray. And we demand to know what's going on here. Manta and Moray. Oh, I've heard stories of you. Well, this is Deep One. And as for what we're doing, I'll show you. This way, please. We're convinced that the world will soon run out of food and fuel. But we'll escape all that by living here beneath the sea. There, my friends, is the key to our success. Trained animals. Whiskers! Manta, there he is! What is that device he's wearing? <laughs> relax, relax. It's, it's quite comfortable. It's called a grabber. Most of the steel used in constructing Deep One comes from shipwrecks on the sea bottom. Thanks to these animals, salvaging sunken ships is a snap. It's much cheaper and safer than when we did it with human divers. And the animals are well cared for. What about those dolphins? They're being trained to plant explosives wherever we tell them to. Explosives? What for? Protection. We're dynamiting large reefs to create a wall of rock around this canyon. Once the world starts starving, we can't risk being discovered. Look. If you want to build a fortress here, that's your business. But you have no right to endanger innocent life forms with explosives. Mr. Riker, either you release those animals or we will. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, because now I'll have to keep you here. We're about to launch our final mission, and we can't have you or anyone else messing it up. Oh, getting dizzy. Oh, I need water. Commander, don't do this. Manda's already been out of the water too long. Then put them in the wet room. Yes, sir. Arm the charges. Armed. Stand by. Go. When those porpoises last the final section of cliff, the wall will be finished. And Manta and Moray will have to agree that we know what we're doing. The only way we're going to get out of here is with some outside help. Maybe Whiskers is within hearing range. radar contact. Blast it. Cut in that new radar booster. We have to find those porpoises. But, sir, the booster is still experimental. Anything could happen. Use it. That's an order. Radar booster activated. Nice going, Whiskers. Still no sign of the porpoises. Boost the power to maximum. And they're right on target. Now we'll see some results. Sir, they're missing the cliff. There's a, a super tanker in the area, and they're headed straight for it. What the devil's gone wrong? It must have been the radar boost. Somehow it scrambled their sense of direction. That super tanker will blow in two minutes, and there's no way we can stop it. We can, but we'll need your cooperation, and fast. Uh, uh, you, you, you've got it. One minute. I hear the tanker 
Parker's engines. We're getting close. 30 seconds. 29. 28. Come on, Manta and Moray. They're magnetically attached. 16, 15, 14. Uh. Uh. Now, let's get these things as far away from this tanker as possible. Oh. Oh. We're running out of time, Moray. This will have to be far enough. Six, five, four, three. Oh. Yeah, but that was too close. You two prevented a real disaster today. I don't know how we'll ever repay you. I'll tell you how. First, set these animals free. <laughs> then, use your talents to make the world a better place. Besides, the next time something goes wrong here, it may not have such a happy ending. I realize that now. Startle the reef dwellers. big charge. Maybe too big. Quit worrying, Dan. The bigger the blast, the quicker we can get at that galleon, and the quicker we get rich. Right? Yeah, right. Okay, the next blast has got to completely uncover the ship. Use all the dynamite we have. All of it? But Susan... Look, there's no time to argue. Just do it. Okay. You're the boss. Who are you? I am Manta, and this is Moray. But more importantly, you are destroying the coral reef with your blasting. We're not destroying anything. Just harvesting coral. But the coral lives. The reef dwellers depend on it for protection. And we depend on selling coral to make a living. But the reef protects everything within its circle, even your launch. Look, what we're doing is perfectly legal, and we've got the permits to prove it. So take off, okay? We have work to do. Maybe the authorities on the island will help. I'll return to the reef. Perhaps I can still reason with the divers. They are blind to everything but their own greed, Manta. Even so, I must try. But be careful. I don't trust those two. You mean you're allowing them to destroy the reef? 
Not destroy it, just uh, thin it out a little. Besides, it's good for our tourist trade. But it will take thousands of years for that coral to grow back. Your island... I don't make the rules here, Moray. I just enforce them. Their diving and blasting permits are entirely in order. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Moray, where are you going? To prove that those people are doing a lot more than just thinning out the coral, Constable. <laughs> That weird guy snooping around again. I think he saw the ship. Where is he? Right behind me. We'll trap him in the net. Whiskers, find Bore and hurry. What are you bugging us for, mister? To stop you from destroying the reef. Well, you're not stopping us. Bring him aboard, Danny. But I must stay in the ocean. I, I cannot breathe air for very long. Right. And I only breathe saltwater taffy. <laughs> dump him back in the ocean. No way, not now. We've got one more blast to make and we'll be rich. We'll let him go as soon as we're through. He'll be all right. <sighs> the charge is set. You ready? Go!
later. Their air tanks are good for an hour. Come on! That's the place, Whiskers. Just as the seagulls sail. Water. Quickly. That was a little too close, Manta. Yes. Thank you, Mori. Where are the divers? They're trapped in that sunken ship. We'll need help to free them. Our friends will meet us at the sunken ship. Come. Thank you, my friends. You saved our island, Manta and Mori, and the ships in our harbor. We're grateful, and we want to thank you, too, for saving our lives. I'm glad we could help. We only hope you know now that all life is precious. It was a hard way to learn, but a lesson we'll never forget, Moray. You have our word on that.
something strange about that turtle, Moray. He seems unaware of the ways of the sea. What is it, Whiskers? Show us the way. He's nearly dead. We have to get water moving through his gills. The Oceanographic Institute. This shark was raised in captivity like the turtle. Looks like they're glad to be home. We appreciate your help, Manta and Moray. Unfortunately, most of our larger sea mammals are still missing. And you're positive it was two dolphins and a finback whale that freed them? Absolutely. They've raided us twice already this month. Is there any way that you can stop them? It will take time. They're obviously highly intelligent. Tell those dolphins that our experiments with the whales are not harmful. We're only trying to communicate with them. We'll do our best, Doctor. I guess we've got our work cut out for us, Moray. Let's go. They're all healthy and kicking, Skipper. Good. The people at Wonderworld are really anxious for this batch of whales. I'll be glad when this trip is over. There's tricky water ahead. The Great Reef? No matter how many times I travel this way, it always makes me nervous. the port bow. Well, it looks harmless from here, sir. It's never harmless. Hey, Captain! I can't control it! We're going off course! Something's pulling us toward the reef. Any luck, Moray? Nothing. It's like looking for ghosts. I have also found nothing. That's an SOS signal. It's coming from the Great Reef. Look at those dolphins. It's like they're directing an escape. I can't believe it. Captain! It's Manta and Moray. Is everyone all right, Captain? Yes, Manta. But our cargo of whales for Wonderworld escaped with the help of two dolphins. Was there a whale with them? More than one. It was about five whales that pushed us out on that reef. The people at Wonderworld are going to be mighty upset about this. Which way did they go? That way. They only have a couple of minutes on you, Manta. Moray. You and Guppy tow these lifeboats in. I'll see if I can catch up with those dolphins. Right, Manta. Be careful. Stop, Great One. I am Manta. Listen to my words. Let me speak with the dolphins. Many of the animals you release cannot survive in the sea. I understand they are your brothers, but you can't... Let me pass and talk with the dolphins. I consider all creatures of the deep my friends, Great One. But you are trying my patience. I've lost them.
Greetings, little brother. I searched for a pack of whales led by two dolphins. Have you seen them? Where? Go, little brother. Find Moray. Tell her to meet me at Wonderworld. the dolphins. I'll be back with help as soon as I can. Stop! The seawall must be repaired or the town will be flooded. No, Brother Dolphin. You have not only endangered the brothers you free, but the lives and property of humans as well. Come, great ones, help us rebuild the wall. were honorable, Brother Dolphins, but many of those you freed were raised in captivity and cannot survive in the sea. The scientists are only trying to communicate with the whales. They mean them no harm. We appreciate your concern, but your methods are too dangerous. We have no answer to this problem, Brother. All we can promise is that the captive animals will not be mistreated. Goodbye. Bye. See you soon. I know we haven't changed their minds, Manta. No, but maybe we've given them something to think about. <laughs> 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 